good afternoon, and thank you for tuning in this afternoon. Much appreciated. As you can see, this was my birthday cake. The birthday cake that you see pictured here is a Carvel. There's nothing wrong with a Carvel cake. I do like them a lot. They're very good. But this was not my original intention of what I wanted for a birthday cake. My original choice of cake was a Baskin Robbins. So I go to Baskin Robbins to pick out my cake. So upon arrival, I go in, go to my right, open the, you know, the freezer doors and look and see what choices they have. Well, nothing to my liking. They had one cake that came close, but it had a pink covering over the top. If it had been blue, white, yellow, any other color, I would have been perfectly fine with purchasing the cake. So I sat down and I started thumbing through my emails. And I had remembered back, hey, wait a minute, Baskin Robbins sends me a coupon through my email to get a free scoop of ice cream. So I go through my emails, I find the email, I go up. She says, yeah, you can get this, but you can get it either in a cone or you can get it in a, a cup. So I opted for a cup. And what wound up happening is when I get up to the register to, you know, to claim it. Now, keep in mind, free, F-R-E-E, -E, no money out of my pocket. Well, one, the cup that they give me wound up being about two and a half inches around and about three inches tall. I looked at it and I said, wow, I said a lot has changed since I went to a Baskin Robbins last. I said their ice cream cups used to be a lot bigger than this. And of course, they used to have 31 flavors, which they don't do that anymore. It's probably you're lucky to have. 15 in their ice cream case if you're lucky so anyway when I get up to the ice to the register to scan the barcode it wasn't free that little itty bitty one scoop of ice cream was over four dollars and with them taking money off I still would have been responsible for paying for two dollars of that are you really kidding me are you? No, that's not going to happen. Why should I do that as much as I do like Baskin Robbins? Um, I could just go to a grocery store and pay another dollar or so and get me maybe one thing of Publix premium ice cream. And that's a whole half gallon. And the flavor that I had is pralines and cream. So I can get that flavor just about anywhere. It doesn't necessarily have to be just Baskin Robbins. Well, when she said it's still going to cost you $2.13, I took the little cup of ice cream and went back across the counter and said, here, you can have this. She says, oh, you don't want this? I said, no. I said, the word says free, not discount. So I turned around and walked off. I sat down. I was with my longtime friend. He was lucky to have had my birthday off that, you know, last week. So I just went to the store and picked me out a nice Carvel ice cream cake. And that's what you see pictured. Um, needless to say, Baskin Robbins would have been nice, but... I don't know. Baskin Robbins is not the same Baskin Robbins that I once knew once upon a time when I was a kid or even as a preteen or a teenager. I used to be able to go in there and pick out whatever ice cream, whatever cake I wanted and that I could put in an order and get an ice cream cake made up. They don't do that anymore. Everything now is done online. You go by default what they have by their choices, which I don't necessarily like that, but aside from that, getting my birthday cake, I wound up going to get something to eat. 
Um, it's the thought that counts. It wasn't exactly my choice of restaurant that I wanted to go to, which keep in mind my birthday, I'm still celebrating it just a little bit. I'm not done with it yet. So on Monday, I have a ear doctor appointment just for a cleaning, nothing bad. And I might as well go ahead and make a day of it while I'm out and pick, you know, a restaurant that I do like. And I've got two right now in mind. I'll probably do something involving seafood. So I did that. I came back later that evening, had some of the ice cream cake, which I still have some in the refrigerator. Um, but all in all, it was a decent birthday. Could have been a lot worse. Could it have been better? Sure, it could have. But I'm not complaining. You know, so that right there was pretty much the extent of how my birthday went. And I don't know, I feel very different now about Baskin Robbins. I mean, I used to be head over heels about them. I still like their ice cream, but not after what they did to me with that free scoop. Keep in mind, I'm not done yet. I will go to another Baskin Robbins and I'm going to say, what do I have to do? I'm going to hold my phone up. What do I have to do to satisfy this right here? I've already been to one Baskin Robbins and this is what happened. The word says free scoop, not discounted scoop. So I'm going to try again at another Baskin Robbins, most likely on Monday, and see what happens. And then from there, I'll probably do that after I have my, you know, my dinner at the restaurant that I want to go to. And then that'll pretty much sum up, you know, my birthday. I still need to buy myself a little something, something. I wouldn't mind a want or maybe even a need. I mean, we always need a need in our life. I mean, that's, you know, always going to come with the territory. But I will get myself a little something. Um, I just got to go and pick it out. So anyway, I just thought I would let you guys know how the 31st of October went, which was my birthday. And that was pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, not complaining. It was nice, tranquil, good. So there you have it. All right, everybody. Um, I want to thank all of you for tuning in on this day. And um, I'll see you back here real soon. Take care. Have a good day, evening, bye.